How he could possibly hit it that hard and have one hook, but he does. Oh! <laughs> you want to talk about crushing it? He's kind of got some sores on it too. Mm. He ain't coming off. He's hooked like really good. Really good. We had that one hook right there, but it was through good enough where he was not going to come off. That's a good thing about them G Finesse is it penetrates so easily. People stress out because it's got a small barb, but it penetrates so good. It's a beautiful one there. Well, one side's beautiful. When you have people say, take a picture right here, this is my good side, this one's telling the truth. It's a nice one. It's a pretty one. I'm trying to take pictures of all Kyle's doing is catching fish. I can't help it. They keep biting. Look at how you got that thing, Dang, Kyle. Here. There's a pretty one right there. Playing on leaving. Don't go on that one. Come on. Pretty one there. That's a nice one. This is going to be take two of checking out what's in my tournament box. So hard to believe that whenever I go to a tournament, all I take is this right here and this, but in the fall, it's about all you need. So this is what I'm going to show y'all now is I showed y'all in the last, the jig video, these slots down to here is nothing but jigs. And then these over here is crankbait, so the buzz bait, some extra hooks, stuff like that. But now we're going to dive a little bit into the other side. So got a few different types of baits over here. Got some, I think I ripped my pants. They were already ripped. Oh, well, I got some flat sides in here some little johns some other stuff some of these balsa baits all that type of stuff these are a little bit tangled up and the reason for that is i have not been catching them too good on this this year so for whatever reason they have not really been biting the flat side too great this year these are some brand new ones little johns and these three are balsa i got some little johns in here too but comment down below if when you pull your crankbaits out of your box if they did that or if you have a better system yeah if you got a better system because i've had better systems in the past and it just seems like a lot of work but anyways crankbaits i keep it pretty simple like i do with just about everything else i'm not smart enough to keep a lot of stuff to keep remembering a lot of stuff so crankbaits a couple different things that really carry me through in the fall the flat sides are really good. It's not quite cold enough yet, I guess. I'm not really sure. Last year this time they're eating it. This year they're not really eating it. But the Little John is a phenomenal bait. It's a bite getter. You catch them all over the country. Catch them really good and they catch some really, really big ones. But I'm going to talk a little bit about one that doesn't get much love. And that's this dude right here. This is called the Fat John. And it does not get near as much love as the Little John. But this right here is the Fat John 60. And it's named after John Cruz, but... The fat part is not because that dude is ripped but here's the fat john 60 it goes really really shallow so does this one it's the fat john 50. Kind of, i'm really partial to this one this one goes about a foot foot and a half i mean you can get it to two foot if you make a really long cast but i usually am not i'm usually in the backs of pockets whenever the fish and the shad and stuff are up really really shallow this is a phenomenal crankbait to throw. It's one I keep in the box, keep one of a couple of different colors. And I don't really have to keep duplicates of these because when I get this bait hung, it's a foot and a half deep. I'm gonna get it back every single time. So it's really, really efficient that way. So I have to keep, I don't have to keep a bunch of them with me. That is a really, really good one that people don't really talk about a lot. You catch some good fish on it, you catch a lot of numbers on it, and you catch some really big ones. But it just, it's like a wake bait almost. It goes about that deep over the backs of these little wood and log jam stuff in the back of these pockets when the water starts dropping and those shad and stuff push back in there i mean it is phenomenal really fun way to catch them obviously spring crawl is going to be my 
dirty water one and also the bigger one because that's gonna be what I'm throwing in dirty water and I've got a shad pattern one I think this is called honey shad something like that honey shad that's the one I'm gonna throw in clear water a little bit smaller profile so that's that's one that is phenomenal and then there's I told you all about the flat sides and then another one that I've been talking about a little bit recently and it's been catching them really good for years but I've really only started throwing it around where I'm at a lot in the last two or three years so it's a phenomenal bait that's the rock crawler this one that I was just catching them on last week on Smith Mountain Lake and then came home been catching them on it back home again and I was catching before I left so it's just a really good bait that you catch them on all the time is a rock crawler keep it simple with those crawfish pattern shad pattern chartreuse one if the water's stained we haven't had any stained water so this box right here is pretty much basically a clear water with a little bit of stained water variation but that's what i've been keeping here so that's my crankbaits that i've been throwing so what's the application all over what's the difference like when would you pick up a flat side over a little drum okay so that's a really good question i can't really forgot to even mention that i told you all about that fat john backs of pockets super shallow bumping into wood primarily dock post primarily all that type of stuff is really where it excels the flat sides that's going to be whenever you're cranking that four three to six foot depth sharp drops it does really really well on any kind of bluffy sharp drop type of stuff anywhere there's a concentration and you want to throw something that they're going to bite down it it doesn't have a lot of draw power but if you put it in front of one they're going to bite it a lot of times so it's, that's really that four to six foot depth on some sharper drops 45 degree banks anything like that and the rock crawler it excels fishing flat points all the way out seven eight feet of water from four to seven or eight feet of water is where i'm gonna throw this thing and you want to get it down there making contact with the bottom and reel it about as slow as you possibly can and keep it keeping contact with the bottom coming across these long sloping points it's also really good on those sharp drops but it seems to be a little bit better on the 45 degree banks to when it's flatter so the flat side is better on the 45 degree banks to when it's steeper and the rock crawler is better on the 45 degree banks to when it's flatter so that's kind of my approach to why i pick three i throw all three of them on the exact same rod primarily and this is a very inexpensive rod i think it's a i think it's a 69 or 79 dollar rod it's tangled up with a bunch of other rods right now and now it's tangled up with my gamakatsu hoodie so that's the rod right there this is a 13 fishing fate seven foot cranking rod it has a phenomenal action for these little crankbaits i mean it's got a super soft tip these crankbaits with small hooks this is a really really good cranking rod seven foot so i can throw accurately around some of these docks and stuff and then a six 0.6 to 1 gear ratio or a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. This right here is the Inception Slide. One of my favorite reels I've been cranking with for a while now. That's the setup that I throw all three of them on. And what, what got one? 10 to 12. So I'll throw, them, I'll throw the Fat John on 12 to 14. I throw the flat side on 10 all the time and I throw this on 10 to 12. 10 a lot of times, 12 sometimes. So 10 to 14, that's the cranking line that I use. And Just depending on the cover. The yeah. Seven foot little cranking rod, strong enough to push you back off a dock whenever your aluminum boat blows into it. So now let's try to catch us one on the rock crawler real quick because we've got a Wait, 45 degree to flat tapering bank. All right, what's up, Miss Hunt? Why would you choose the little John over the big John or the big John over the little John? So you're talking about the, the, only the Fat John the size, 60. Yeah. Yeah. The size, the Fat John 60, you can cast it a little bit further and it does seem to go just a little bit deeper so the fat john 60 stained water i'm gonna throw the bigger one muddy water i'm gonna throw the bigger one it's just got more thump more vibration clear water i want the smaller one imitation shad a little bit better and it has less thump but it's so whenever they're visually feeding i don't want a ton of thump so that's my approach for one or the other anything else miss hunter i use i use pro baits with the stock hooks but then if those hooks get dull i upgrade them to the g finesse and sometimes I'll upgrade them to the G Finesse Terma Grade Wire Hook anyways. But the stock hooks on these rock crawlers, Little Johns, all that stuff are really, really good. I mean, they're Gamakatsu high-end hooks, so you don't have to change them straight out of the pack. Then that's all my question. All right, let's catch one then. Right at the boat. I'm talking about right at the boat. A little spotted bass. But he ate the rock crawler, and he ate the front hook on it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm When they eat in the front hook, you know you got the right deal. Little spot. Little spot, little spot. I mean another one right at the boat. He's got one little hook in his mouth. That's a good one. I mean one little hook. See if he can come in the boat with that one hook. 
Twisted him all up with just one little hook. Second one I've caught today. Barely hooked. One thing in common. Kamakatsu's. Good one. That sounds like a big one. One hook again. Hmm, uh. got a big deal though. And then he came off. That is a pretty. Pretty good one. Pretty one. You like the rock crawler though? Yeah, I like it. I hate to even tell everybody about it. But everybody already knows about it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy.